Hey, look what I got. Hi everybody, Ray from 2A Left Productions. And today is gonna to be a video review of the Jet Blaster Cedar. Uh, I ordered this thing back in the summer, like June, July, and it literally showed up yesterday. Um, little disappointed on the delivery time, but uh, I guess they were having a bunch of issues, so uh, I'm not the only one. Uh, but anyway, this is a review of the blaster itself, not necessarily their uh, business practices. But here we go. The CETA spring powered blaster um, with very similar internals, if not identical internals, to the uh, long shot um, and upgraded spring uh, right out of the box, which is kind of nice. This thing advertises 100 feet per second, and I put it on my chronograph and yeah, I was getting about 100 feet per second. Now, I will say one thing. Uh, my chronograph, I don't know about all chronographs, but my chronograph absolutely hates my LED lighting. It doesn't like it at all. Apparently, it can see the, uh, uh, the megahertz of the uh, house current, uh, and it's, it keeps reading weird stuff. So, um, works a lot better outside, but it's currently... 2.30 in the morning, so no sun. Anyway, uh, overview of the blaster. It is a uh, pump blaster, uh, grip up here in the front. Uh, I find the pump is a little bit on the stronger side for uh, maybe smaller people, a little bit less uh, uh, buff people, whatever. Uh, but it's, it's manageable for the average adult. Uh, this is geared a little bit more toward uh, teens and above. I believe it says, uh, yeah, 14 on the box. So uh, I guess that's okay. Uh, what else we got? All right, well, the stock. The stock is really sturdy. I love this thing. It's You can actually put a lot of pressure on it. Uh, one thing is, though, it does open really easily, which is a little weird. Um, it doesn't close, but you can open it with hardly any effort at all, um, which is not generally uh, a big deal, but uh, just a, a gripe that I had about it, a uh, minor gripe. Uh, there is a safety on it, which does, uh, it is a trigger lock safety, so it prevents you from pulling the trigger. Um, which is a kind of nice feature when you want to make sure that little kids or whatever get a hold of this thing who might hurt themselves, you know, so uh, that's probably good. Um, mag release right here, which is duplicated on both sides, so it is full ambidextrous, which is kind of nice. Um, but being that I'm right-handed, uh, I don't need the other side, but if you want to hand this off to a left-handed uh, friend of yours, then sure, not a problem. Um, Teardown. Teardown is, is one of this thing's uh, uh, biggest selling points. Two pins plus the uh, screws on the bolt sled. This thing comes apart in like a matter of a, you know 30 seconds, if that. Um, like 10. Uh, but anyway, yeah, pretty good. Feels pretty nice in the hand. The grip is really comfortable. Uh, I'm glad it does not have those finger serrations. I absolutely hate grips that, that do that. Um, this one is really nice in the hand. Um, uh, not, not totally happy with the ergonomics of the pump grip. I may change this out, but uh, as of right now, I mean, it's usable. Um, I find it's actually a little bit easier to have a finger in the front just because there's no uh, little piece back here I would have liked to have, like on the Alpha Trooper, it's got that little lip. Uh, if it would have had that, it probably would have been a lot easier. Um, so I just find it easier to keep your finger up here in the front when you pump it, just to give it a little bit more purchase on the, uh, the pump. 
Oh yeah, there's a couple of, there's a double feed there. This thing is capable of double feeding, which is a little disappointing because uh, it actually uh, will either jam it up sometimes or um, just give you this really anemic shot. Um, but say la vie. Actually pretty flawlessly. This, this particular mag works really good. And what's really kind of cool about this mag is See that notch right there? That's what the uh, uh, mag release catch actually grabs a hold of. And it's on both sides. So theoretically, you could load this mag backwards and it works just fine either way. Now see, that's kind of cool so you don't have to worry about uh, directionality of your mags. You can just Pick the thing up and load it and you're good to go. So that was a double feed because I'm dumb and I actually did that on purpose. Um, anyway, so a, a gripe that I do have on this magwell. Nerf mags, specifically drum mags, or something that has a little bit of uh, heft to it. Um, like the Firefly mag. Uh, I've had an issue where, okay, well that one worked, but sometimes, yeah, doesn't lock into place. And then sometimes when you think it locked in place, Okay, this time I'm gonna do it. The mag just falls out. Uh, you'll get one shot and then the mag falls out. Um, and it seems to happen on the heavier mags. Um, I don't know if it's just because this spring on here is a little weak or it's just not fully engaging it. Maybe the uh, where the mag release isn't 100% lined up with the, the little hole cut in the, uh, the mags. Uh, but that is a minor gripe that I have. Actually, it's kind of a major gripe because if you have a uh, mag fall out in the middle of a, of a battle, that's kind of bad. But all right, that one that one worked. Generally speaking, if it passes the first shot, it's going to stay in. Um, if it falls out after the first shot, that's usually when you have your issue. Like that. And again. But yeah, overall impression, uh, the Cedar Blaster, I like it. I have to give it a positive marks. Um, fits decently well in the hand. Um, nothing really too bad ergonomic on it. Um, I like the adjustable stock uh, once you find that nice sweet spot for it. That thing is pretty nice. Um, decent size. Uh, I'm not exactly a huge person over here, but it does fit my frame decently well. Um, maybe for some younger nerfers, this might be a little bit on the, the larger side, but it's uh, pretty good for your average person that is designed for 14 uh, plus. But generally speaking, yeah, uh, I'm going to say I like it. I'm going to give it the Ray seal of approval. Anyway, over here is a video YouTube thinks you should watch. Why? I don't know. They just think you should watch it. And over here is a video that I'll add in post. I'm Ray with 2A Left Productions, and I'll see y'all later.